as we said, all eyes in the Supreme Court and the big update that we're getting at this point is that hearing on the plea by Nupur Sharma, in fact, has now started as far as the Supreme Court is concerned. The plea is asking for clubbing of all the various FIRs against her. Also going on to say that post those hard words of the Supreme Court the first time around, there have been an increased number of threats as far as Nupur Sharma is concerned. So that continues uh, to be tracking all these developments for us. Our legal correspondent Ananya Bhatnagar is also tracking all these developments inside the court. But as I said, all eyes on that crucial hearing at the Supreme Court, which we're now understanding that hearing, in fact, has now begun. Remember, the Supreme Court is all set to hear suspended BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma's plea once again today, citing renewed threats after the Supreme Court's previous unexpected and strong criticism of her. Nupur Sharma once again has approached the top court to halt her possible arrest and club all the various cases against her. Siddhant, I believe, is now back with us. Siddhant, very interestingly, this is exactly the same bench that had those very strict uh, and scathing observations and that criticism against Nupur Sharma when the case had been heard the first time around on the 1st of July. Well, that's correct. This is a modification uh, petition uh, that has been filed in the Supreme Court. And interestingly, this is being heard by the same vacation bench, uh, Justice Surikant and Justice uh, Pardiwala. And now uh, Mr. Uh, Maninder Singh has uh, started his submission. And he said, he says in the court that subsequent developments have come up. More death threats. Someone from Pakistan has come to kill the girl. There are various reports. So uh, Maninder Singh is citing... Uh, the media reports uh, the story that, in fact, we also flashed uh, this afternoon that one uh, person has been apprehended by forces who has come to uh, kill Nupur Sharma from Pakistan. And here, Mr. Singh is requesting court to invoke Article 21. And uh, Mr. Singh uh, 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 says in the court that the allegation is one, there is no need for multiple FIRs. And there is, a, there is also a serious threat to Nupur Sharma's life. And the threat is genuine and real. West Bengal has registered three more FIRs. My Lordship are the protector of Article 21. Now, um, interestingly, there are uh, two precedents in the past, uh, uh, past which I would like to uh, read out for our viewers. Uh, so, uh, in 2020, uh, journalist versus government in, uh, that expanded the ruling and in which, the, in which multiple FIRs were clubbed in one. And at the same time, uh, you know, uh, there, is, uh, there is one other case also uh, uh, other case also uh, in which okay. the, uh, which, uh, which serves as a precedence in this matter. So Article 20 and Subsection 2 of the Constitution guarantees the right against double jeopardy and multiple FIRs means multiple trials. And this is perhaps the reason that last time also and this time around also the uh, lawyers of Nupur Sharma have, have, uh, have filed this petition to club uh, uh, club the FIRs because because going by the last uh, the orders in the last cases uh, uh, popular case of 2020 uh, 20, uh, journalist versus uh, the Maharashtra government then there is one case of Kerala okay. in 2001 where the FIRs were clubbed so uh, Correct. going by so, so the that, law let's just break uh, this you know, point uh, by point for our viewers essentially the point that the legal team of Nupur Sharma has been making that the allegation is the same so why hop from one city to another as far as these very FIRs are concerned, why can't you just club them? So what I want to first understand is how many in total of these FIRs are currently against Nupur Sharma? Well, look, there are multiple FIRs that have been lodged in, in like in the states of state of West Bengal, in Maharashtra, and in fact, there have there are multiple summons also that have been issued to Nupur, Nupur Sharma. Now, uh, this petition also highlights the threat that uh, Nupur Sharma uh, 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 Sharma is facing right now, and also uh, uh, this petition also demands expunging of the observation which were made. Uh, by, which was made by the bench in the last hearing. Uh, so these two are also the requests that have been made in the petition. Now, uh, Mr. S uh, Justice Surikant uh, has said that now you are explaining that going to different high courts and imminent threat to life. Is this your case subject to the submission of the respondents? Uh, now, judges are discussing. This is what Ananya okay. is reporting. And I want to show two things in these matter. What you have done earlier is that you have allowed first FIR to go on 
and other side stayed and no coercive action is granted. Singh as he shows other cases. So Mr. Singh, the advocate of Nupur Sharma is trying to explain it to the court that, uh, that uh, her life is under threat. At the same time, uh, the two precedents are already available, uh, available before the court in which the FIRs were clubbed. So uh, uh, law doesn't believe in multiple trials. Multiple FIRs means multiple trials in the same offense. So uh, the request okay. is to club the FIRs and, 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 you know, and, and hand over the case to the Delhi police. So this is what, uh, uh, this is what uh, Nupur Sharma's lawyers have been demanding and now Ananya is reporting the judges are discussing something. Correct. Okay. Uh, we'll so Siddharth, you know, we'll updated. continue to come back to you uh, even as we continue to uh, look at all the updates that our colleague Ananya is also putting for us. But I'll just request you to stay.